what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> a New York City Council member proposing a bill that would give employees the right to disconnect from work-related email outside of work hours. Yeah. Sounds okay, does it? Uh, that gentleman, member of the New York City Council, is Rafael Espinal, and he joins us right now. What are you doing on this program? Well, I just came here to talk. So wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. If I'm, I'm the employer, and I'm employing someone to do work nine to five. If I ask them to answer an email, or I demand that they respond to an email at 5.30, what happens to me? If you demand, then you have a problem. But you still, you still have the right to reach out. You still have the right to text, email, do whatever you need to reach out to that employee. They just have the right to decide at that moment whether or not they have to respond. What do you think I would think of an employee of mine who says, I'm sorry, Stu, we really can't respond to that, that email that you sent us at 5.05 this afternoon? <laughs> Listen, do I you think, think I'd look kindly upon that employee? I, mean, I think that if you have happy employees, then most likely or not they will respond. Again, this do, is do, not do about... Th wait a minute, wait a minute. You can be very happy getting involved in your job, being part of the team, shaping an enterprise. That's happiness. That's happiness, of course. And yes. that's up to the employee to decide Why whether or not at the moment it? they want to talk. You're I'm not discouraging it. it. Of course Listen, you are. Listen, we have yeah. a lot of employees that go home, have families to tend to, have to decompress, be able to go work the next day and, and perform at an optimal level. Studies have shown that if an employee disconnects, whether it be from the Internet, leave the office, take some time off, they're able to go back to work the next day and do a better job. And this is great for business. This is great for the employers. So if I made it a point of, uh, if I said to an empl a potential employee, Look, you've got to respond to emails, you've got to respond to texts, no matter what time of day it is. See, you're making it very clear to them. Am what, I allowed to it, say that? Yes, you are. If, you're, okay. if, you're, if they're signing a contract with the notion and, that they understand that they have to be and, available And if the employer hours, says, I'm sorry, I can't do that, well, you can they sue me? If you didn't hire them. I mean, this oh, is really? not a, if this is oh. not about suing oh, them. So this is more about giving them the right to call yes, it the is. city All and be able regulations to regulations are about suits. No, and it's you know not it. about suits. I mean, the city ha it will have a mechanism in place where they can call the city, and the city will go out and do an investigation, talk to the employer and the employee, and figure out whether or not there was real retaliation taken against that employee because of not res not not responding to <laughs> correspondence. Yeah, lawsuits. That's right. Are you a lawyer? I am not a lawyer. You're not a lawyer. <laughs> no. no, but you know a few. I know a few lawyers. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, I think that this is a law that will. Okay. protect a lot of people, especially what about, in a, at a time where work continues to encroach into our lives, wages have been stagnant for a very long time, and we're expecting more from our employees. They should have that right to decide whether they want to keep working or answer to that email once they leave the office. You're a Democrat, aren't you? I am a Democrat, yeah. proudly. By the way, uh, wages stagnated in the eight years of Obama. And well, now they're going up in the first year of Trump. But let me get well, to something well, else. Well, true. I think Obama had a lot to do with what oh, we're really? seeing here today That's over the past year. Very so. interesting. Okay, let me move on. What about the up-and-comer? The someone who really wants to try hard, show the boss that they can, they're, they're in this business, they like the job, and they're gung-ho. They want to climb that ladder. They'll answer any damned email any time of day. I what about them. them? I applaud them. They can do that. This is not taking away the right from them from responding. If you want to continue working, if you love your job, if you want to show that you are the best employee in the office, you can still do that. I don't, I'm not taking that away. What I'm saying is if at that moment so when you receive that text message or that call from your boss and you don't feel that it's a good moment for you to answer that call, you don't have to. <laughs> Well, nobody who feels like that will ever work for me or my <laughs> organization, ever. Well... So you're out of a job, son. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael, look, we appreciate you coming on yeah. board. Uh, it's a good discussion, and I think we'll have this discussion a lot in the future. I but mean, technology, technology has encroached in, into our business, and there is no real clear regulation on how that's working, how is that affecting people's lives, and I think this is a conversation worth having. You'll be very popular on the left, believe me. <laughs> All those anti-business people, they'll love you. All those people with families will love me too, hopefully. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. Uh, Raphael, but thank you very much, yeah. sir. We do thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate Thanks it. very much.